What's going on, YouTube? Like a little one time for the one time. It's your boy JR. About to talk about Married at First Sight, Season 12, Episode 7. Chris still ain't shit. We about to get into it. Y'all understand the vibes. Hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. I'm sorry if you hear the wind in the background. It's windy as a mother here in Southern California, and I do not know why. I don't know where the hell it came from, but it is what it is. But if it's just your first time on my channel, hit that like button, comment, subscribe. I very much would appreciate it. Now let's tap in. Look here, damn it. Paige, will you please run away and just give the, and, and, and take the divorce? If he want a damn divorce, do it, stupid. You are the dumbest person on this show, and Chris is the worst. What are you doing? Your low, your self-esteem is that low? Have you not ever listened to a Beyonce album a day in your life? Me, myself, and I, from now on, I'm going to be my own best friend. Hit it, damn it. Have you never listened to Lemonade or something? Damn it, something? You never listened to a Beyonce album? Please listen to it over and over again. And get the hell out of this damn relationship, you dummy. Just dumb. What is wrong with you? He whispers in your damn ear at the end. Just shut. And you start smiling again. Pastor, look. Run. Will you run away, you idiot? And Chris, you can kiss my ass. The nerve of this man. He doesn't even fly home. He goes to Chicago. And then all of a sudden says, tells the production. And why does he have so much control over production? I have no motherfucking idea. All this control he has. Where he could just say, no, I don't want to talk on camera off the record. And say, oh, I'm going to get back with my ex. Well, get back with your ex. Because as the rumors say, it's not even her. It's not her. It's somebody else that he has a baby with. It's not the ex. It's not the fiance, fool. Yeah, that's what they're not going to say. Spoiler alert again. I don't understand it. It's very odd and weird. Why did they pair them together? I do not understand it. Why did they do this, Pastor Cal? All of y'all, y'all knew. Y'all knew this man wasn't shit. And you did it anyway. So I don't believe any of y'all. I don't believe it. And when Pastor Cal walks into the room, I always laugh because I knew. I knew when they were hanging out with A, when he was talking to Paige. And Paige is soft-spoken shit as if she's so sad and uh, uh, distraught. and all. It's like, will you please buck up and put a little backbone inside of you and talk some shit and get yourself together? She did it on the on the phone call, and then when she was a pastor cow, she went back to the same bullshit. No. No, I'm going to digress. I'm going to come back to them in a minute. I want to go to Clara and Ryan. Ryan, I don't know what the hell is wrong with you. Clara is trying to throw you the draws, and you don't want it, and I don't understand it. I still don't get it. You say you're attracted to her. I don't understand it, because when she had them little, little booty shorts on, and you didn't try to tap that shit, I don't know what the hell is your goddamn problem. And she had a smile on her face, and she's happy, and she love, really likes you a lot. And your ass is not even trying to hit it. What is the damn problem, player? What is the problem? You say something, but you, your, your, your actions say otherwise. I don't get it. I don't understand it as a man. I do not get it. Because if you want it, you would go get it. And so, I don't know what the issue is. You don't want to say you want, you don't want to say the L word. I don't know what the hell that's all about. Must be a personal problem. I don't know. You have a, you have a fucking tragic accident when you were a child or something. What the hell is the problem? Why you don't like to say the word love? What? You weren't loving up as a child? Your mom and dad didn't know. Your mama a voodoo queen. I don't understand it because Clara is obviously sexually frustrated and wants some goddamn dick and your black ass won't give it to her. If you black, I don't know. He black like, I don't know. I don't know if he black. He black like Bruno Mars. <laughs> Bruno Mars is the only person on earth that you don't know what the hell his race is. Like, is he black? No, he's not black. Is he white? No, he's not white. What, what, is he Mexican? No, he's not. Well, what the hell is he then? God damn it. That's what he looks like to me. I don't know what the hell he is. Whose man is this? This white woman is trying to fuck you and you won't fuck. Yes, your apartment, all your apartments nice. And what, why your fucking, 
shit was slanted in, in your apartment. I don't understand it. I do not get it. Clara has pictures of her, these damn dogs. Why are you fucking the dog, Clara? Why do you, See, I don't understand what, what is the obsession with white people and dogs. White people love dogs more than they love finish the blank. Anyways, but you catch my drift. But they love their dog. Like, you have pictures of this damn dog everywhere. For what damn reason? Are you fucking the dog? Are you fucking the damn dog? It's not a human being. I understand that you love him. God damn, it says a dog is a man's best friend, but shit. Why the fuck do y'all take it so goddamn far? I don't understand it myself. Put it in the goddamn comment section. I'm on a roll, baby. Hit it. Okay, let's go to Jacob and Haley. Jacob, you're fucked up and you're gone. I told you you did it last week. You didn't hit it right. You you gave her some sex, but you didn't hit it right. Okay, your sex game was wrong, and she didn't like it, and she ran, she ran away from the hills. And you keep talking about this goddamn 80s bullshit, and she's sick of it. Then you took her to the house, your house, and you're still talking about the goddamn 80s. Look here, goddammit. You have no motherfucking game. That's the problem. Your game is wrong. You don't have no swag or nothing. Now, I understand Haley is very childish. And Haley is not ready for no damn relationship. She said it from the fucking beginning. That she is not for this shit. That she told her friends that, you know, well, I dare everybody to always run away. So why the fuck would you get on this goddamn show? And you know you always run away from every man you get. Well, stay alone, bitch. Stay alone. If that's the motherfucking case, okay... Well, Jacob is sitting there looking like Boo Boo the Fool. Well, Jacob, goddamn, you have no game. You look, The 80s were 40 years ago. It's 2021. 40 fucking years ago. Let it go. Let the 80s go. You can like it. Look here. You ain't got to say it. You got to put your strong resume in. You ain't got to tell this woman this and keep bringing it up. I don't know what what is it about the 80s you love so damn much. God damn it. You ain't that motherfucking old. Let's move on. Eric and Virginia. Virginia, god damn it. Virginia. I don't know if she's an alcoholic, but god damn it, she sure has all the traits of it. I said it like look, she look, she has never met a drink that she does not like. As a person who loves to drink my damn self, I understand. I understand it. I understand it, but you are going to mess around and never be with anybody. You are 27 years old, and you act like you're still in the goddamn college dorms, and you're going to tell this goddamn man that I, when I get drunk, I'm going to fall asleep at my friend's house, at your man's friend, your guy friend's house. Not on my watch, you won't, you goddamn bitch. I bet you won't. Uh, you married, stupid. No man ain't doing that. Dr. Dr. Cal said, I'm married, and I would never do that. And, and look, and, 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 uh, no, Dr. Cal said, I'm married, and that's unacceptable. You know, no man wants his woman at another man's house, knocked out drunk, and he's not there. Because anything can fucking happen, you goddamn idiot. If that, Look here, damn it, you're not mature enough, and you're not grown enough. To be in a relationship and you need to be alone and you might need some goddamn therapy or something or some or, or, or some rehab or something something is not right something is not right with her and you know one thing about her i wish she would judge herself up a little bit because she's not an ugly girl she's a cute girl but i wish she put a little makeup on or something at least tap into your legacy goddamn it or do something i don't get it I don't, Eric, I, I hate Eric's body language. Eric acts like his ass is goddamn 80 years old. I don't understand it. Look, goddammit, I understand you're a pilot and you have a career and all this bullshit, but goddamn, can you at least have a little bit of fun? You're going to have to find a happy medium, but this shit is not going to work. I can see why your first marriage didn't work. I can see it, Eric, and it probably wasn't her. It was you. You were a little uptight. For, you're a little too uptight. Loosen the fuck up. Loosen up, goddammit. Now let's go to Vincent and Brianna. Brianna, you are going to fuck this whole relationship up. 
This man is two seconds away of kicking your ass. Because you, you're condescending. You do things to this man and he's warning you about his temper. As a person who has a temper problem, his damn self, this, I, can, I can see it on his face. Vincent is trying to warn you. I am n- trying to be patient. I'm trying to be nice. But I'm going to tell you right now, if you keep talking to me the way you're talking to me, I'm about to put my motherfucking foot in your ass. And I don't not. He has a he he is a ticking time bomb. And I can see it. And she doesn't I don't think she understands it. He's trying to give you a warning sign, dummy. He's trying. He is trying. God damn it. Let's go back to Paige and Chris. Chris. You want a divorce. Motherfucker, you should have never been on the show in the first place. You suck. Paige, you are a... I don't know what's wrong with Paige. It's only been a week, 10 days, 11 days. Look, you can leave at any time. You just met the man. Damn the vows, dummy. I don't get it. I don't know what's wrong with her. This man wants to go back to his ex, let him go. If he wants to go back to his ex and have the baby and whatever, and this man has the stupidest fucking excuse. They say, I don't want another man to take care of the baby. Well, damn it, don't make the damn baby. If you don't want her and you have the baby and you don't want it, look, damn it, then don't have the motherfucking baby. Shut up. That's the most stupidest answer I've ever seen in my goddamn life. Ever heard? It's just dumb. It makes no sense. Because if you want her that goddamn bad, you wouldn't have left her in the goddamn first place. Who would you talk in here? I don't understand it. This man has a problem. The man seems like a psychopath, a sociopath, anything with a path to nowhere. Run away, Paige. Run while you still can. All right? And Ryan, give Claire some goddamn dick. Hell, she said y'all doing something in the goddamn bedroom. What what is that? What are you doing? You sucking them off? What like we doing something but we ain't fucking? Well, well, what are you doing? Because if you're not fucking, you're sucking. You're doing something. God damn it, Ryan! Give her some dick. If you don't want her, just say so. And if you're playing for the wrong goddamn team, say that as well. Hit that like button, comment, subscribe. I will holler at y'all later. My voice is going out. This is your boy Jr. Like I said, hit that like button, comment, subscribe. I will holler at y'all later. Peace.